Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to train your alpaca to go across a bridge. Um, you can see here, we just took several pallets, and you can usually get those free if you look on Facebook, Marketplace, or something like that. You can get those free, and then we just put a piece of plywood on top. So this is a good one to start with, or even going up and down, like if you have a big porch going up and down the steps. Um, you always want to be sure that you have your uh, lead rope coiled in your left hand. And as much as possible, have a J lead. Um, leave this slack between the two of you. You want your alpaca walking kind of as one with you. Um, obviously, you'll see it's something I need to work on with Cupid. But um, when we walk across the bridge, this one is wide enough for both of us. So first I'm going to show you how to walk across if it's an obstacle that's wide enough for both of you where you can walk side by side. I'm going to be sure that I walk as far over to the left, close to the edge as I can, to leave my alpaca as much space as he can have to walk on his side so that he does not jump off. You don't want him to jump off the obstacle. Also, I do not want him to step up in front of me or to exit the bridge in front of me. So as much as possible, we want to go about the same time. So I'm going to kind of circle him around so we get a good start. Come on, let's go. Let's go. No day lead, sorry. And one other trick I didn't tell you, I always, I use treats to train. Um, he's been trained a lot, so I don't have to treat as often, but anytime if we're training, he does well. I'll, he loves treats. I'll give him a little treat afterwards, um, and I'll talk more about that in a different video, but that's just a basic on how to go over a bridge uh, if it's wide enough for both of you.